We'll celebrate the world's oldest autumn festival in the heart of the Twin Cities. We're talking about, of course, Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. and the event is more than just beer. It's more than just lederhosen. <laughs> Rachel Slavic joins us now live from the state fairgrounds with more. Hi, Rachel. Good morning, Mike and Jenny. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of October, all the Oktoberfest celebrations and a big one happening today here at the State Fairgrounds, the Twin Cities Oktoberfest. We have Ryan Brown here to talk to us about it. So with there are Oktoberfest celebrations around the Twin Cities. What makes yours different? Well, I think number one would be the size and capacity of the hall we're in. This is a German beer hall feel. You can fit up to almost 3,000 people in here any single time. We have nice indoor restrooms as well, so that's you know. Like, that's a big selling point. It's a big selling point, yeah. <laughs> trust me, it's the, everyone knows what the porta potties look like, so uh, that really helps. But it's just a general feel when you're in here with the flags hanging, the smell of the, roast, the cinnamon roasted nuts and, and everything. It just makes it feel okay. German. Well, uh, eight years in, what's new this year? Well, this year we have uh, Sarah's Tipsy Pies came in. They're our newest vendor. We also brought in a new pretzel with one of our main food vendors. Um, so the pretzel has uh, as uh, sauerkraut mm -hmm. and onions in there, right. the bread. So it's pretty Great. good. Well, people have to check that out. And one of the really fun things that you can participate in at this Oktoberfest is Hammerschlagen. We have Jen Martin here to talk to us. So if someone has never played Hammerschlagen, how does it work? This is really easy, all right? So this is a really popular brand of nail driving competition. Everybody buys a nail, and you put this hammer on the wood right next to the nail and take a swing at it, then pass it on. And you go around till somebody gets their nail in the wood with the wedge end of the hammer, and the first one down wins. And you get a beer, you get a prize, whatever you'd like. Okay, so who even came up with this idea? Uh, a gentleman named Carl Schoen back in 1957 came up uh, with this idea. And uh, uh, his father-in-law took it over in the middle 80s, and then WRB Incorporated acquired the whole thing in the late 90s, and wow. we operate all over the country. Okay, well, I'm going to give it a try, and I've learned today that I've been cheating all these years. You're not supposed to start on the nail. You're supposed to start on the wood. So here we go. Ooh. Almost. All right, I'll let you guys go and let everyone at home know the hours today. If you want to head on down to the Twin Cities Oktoberfest, it is from noon until 11. Tickets are still available. They are $25 at the door. I'm going to keep practicing my hammer and skills. Of course, Oktoberfest is a celebration of German culture, but let's be real. We want the beer. We want the food. We have Chip Meyer here to talk to us about that. So we're looking at the signature beer, the Summit Oktoberfest. And I would say you guys do a very hefty pour, but it seems like there's a little bit of foam on there. Isn't that a bad thing? No. Head on a beer is the greatest way to enjoy a beer. It brings out the flavor and the aromas because you not only drink a beer with your mouth, but also with your nose, and, and it brings out all of that wonderful flavor. Just as long as you can go back for more. Right? That's correct. We have plenty more. So, right. Well, tell me about some of the food that you have here. You bet. Um, we have Sarah's Tipsy Pies here, and um, she created a uh, new menu item for us, and it's sour kraut soaked in beer with sausage, and it's a nice savory, savory pie. And then we have uh, Frau Devin Schlagers has a uh, pretzel that has sauerkraut and onion baked wow. into it, um, and that's from uh, St. Agnes Bakery here in the city. So. I love that, those German foods, but with a little fusion as well. Correct. Well, I know that uh, people think Oktoberfest is just for the adults, but this is actually a family-friendly event. Tell me about that. Yeah, it is. So uh, this afternoon we have a really great band called the uh, Bavarian Music Tears, and they are fantastic and so we'll see a lot of kids this afternoon and we do have some carnival games and stuff as well all right and if people want to get tickets how do they do that tickets available at the door and if you uh enjoy your your beer which i know that you will uh we do have a partnership with lyft and so they're helping us get people to and from the event safe so check out our website for details twincitiesoctoberfest.com and what's also really neat people get to leave with that cool stein correct collectible stein so Right. Thank you, Chip. And if you do want to head on down today, it's from noon to 11. Again, tickets, $25 at the door. Mike and Jen. Okay, Rachel. Thank you. Well, this morning we are celebrating National Seafood Month.